sabúria o emanhã Hello, 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 hello Hey guys O emanhã Hello, 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 hello Welcome to my channel where we live, love, learn and love Karibu Sara. Oh my god, there's a guy who's just pulled over next to me <laughs> And he was seeing me dancing, he was looking at me like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just coming from the gym and my hair is so, so wet hey. I need to let it out to dry what? I'm telling you guys, oh my god, let me put that on hold first because I am just going to continue going. <laughs> I'll end up listening and dancing. I'll listen to the song and dance to all of it. But oh my god, guys. Hey, I don't know. As in when I literally when I wake up on, on like my gym days, I don't feel like going to the gym. I usually wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh man, today is that day. I have to go and work out. <laughs> But I don't know when I get to the gym. Hey, now I have to kick myself out of the gym. As in, normally I used to do my workouts usually were like an hour and a half. But um, lately, for some reason, I usually find myself working out for like two hours, two and a half hours. <laughs> you know, I'm like, my goodness, eh? superwoman over here. <laughs> But anyways, oh my gosh, hey, if it feels like it's been a minute since I've come on. I think the last time I was on here was um was a week ago or so. But man, I've been so busy lately. Like, man, there's just um, you know, I'm working on a couple of things, so I've I've just kind of been you know trying to get things in order, and then of course I went back to school. So also that you know I I've also been um doing a lot of studying. And then, uh, when was it by the way? On Saturday. Oh my God. On Saturday, actually, I meant to do a video. I wanted to come on live. But then, oh my goodness. <laughs> hey. Oh, Gopa been a dumb. Why? Hey. Human beings, my goodness. We are, we are living in, in a wicked society. Like, nowadays, people have just become bad-minded, you know? And um, I'm saying this because I had an encounter with chloroform. Imagine, in America. <laughs> You know, these are stories which you think are only happening in Kenya, but my gosh. Ah, hey, hey. Anyways, that's a story for another day. But um, actually, the reason why I'm doing this video today, hey, I want to talk about understanding your self-worth. And the reason for this, by the way, I'll, I'll call this video story time. Because today, uh, when I was, you know, when I was on my way to the gym, I came across another couple and um they were arguing you know like they were they were really into it they were they were getting um they were getting into a, a heated argument and stuff and of course i overheard the argument <laughs> and no i was not being snoopy or anything like that they are the ones who came and and um parked in front of me like they literally parked the car on the road and there was no way I could get out of the parking space. So anyway, since I wasn't in a hurry, there was, you know, I was cleaning out my car and doing a few things. So I was like, ah, let me let them have their, their few minutes of argument while I take care of what I was doing in my car. And then hopefully they'll be done. But I had to honk at them so I could get out of there. <laughs> but anyways, long story short, because I overheard their argument, you know, like they were really going at it um the chick was arguing you know she was telling the guy she was like how come um it's okay for you to go out with your friends it's okay for you to you know sleep around with whoever you want to sleep around with but it's wrong for me to go out with my friends and do the same pretty much you know so um the guy was like you know how am i supposed to be in a relationship with you when you're not being loyal to me and the girl was like you are never loyal to me so it's okay for you not to be loyal <laughs> And I'm supposed to be okay with it, but it's wrong for me to do the same thing. 
so that kind of got me thinking and i was like man you know as in understanding your self-worth you know understanding your own value as in women my baby girls eh? <laughs> it's high time like people change their perception about especially women change your perception about how you see yourself you know you should never allow yourself to lose your own dignity devalue your own body because of a man you know this whole thing of what a man can do a woman can do better you know if your man goes out there and cheats on you with 20 women you go out there and cheat on him with 40 men you know at the end of the day you're the one who is devaluing yourself you know because you need to understand that for a man to go out there and do something like that they already do not value themselves you see so by you going down you know going down to their level pretty much and even lower you're the one who is costing yourself you know you're the one who does not understand your worth you know if you're going to be in a relationship with a man who does not respect you he does not honor you then maybe the problem is you and the problem is you because you're the one who is not aware of who you are you are in the wrong relationship you know and i'm saying this because i had a i had a, a a similar issue with um with actually my son's father <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jay of Patia's story. I keep saying I'm going to give it to you one day. I'll give it to you. I've never given you this story. So um, what happened was he, he he's actually, the, you know, he, he cheated on me. It was an issue of infidelity that caused us to break up. But um, the thing was he, he, you know, he continued to be, let me say, I don't know. He continued to be friends with his ex. See me, I don't have a problem with exes being friends because I don't believe you have to be enemies, you know. But if you get to that point where you cannot stand each other, then it's good for you to move away from each other. But, you know, if you're still able to keep it cordial, then keep it cordial. You know, you shouldn't be enemies. At now, you will never ever go to see each other. You're never going to talk to each other. No, you know, you can get over stuff. Like for me, I'm, I'm cool with all my exes. I don't fuck with them. <laughs> Damn it, I'm working on my language. I don't mess with my exes in terms of at your house, do you come visit my house, I go visit yours. No, I don't do all of that. But if I come across my exes like out in the public, I'm going to say hi, you know, because for me saying hi, it's not, it's not, it doesn't really mean much. You know, it doesn't mean I hate you. No, it just means we did not get along and life has moved on. So if you've moved on and you're with someone else even if you invite me to your wedding if i have time i'll show up or i'll support you you know because whatever we had is no longer in existence so i'm not bitter about anything i'm not bitter with any of my exes by the way speaking <laughs> of which actually last week i came across one of them and we had a you know we had a good conversation my god why is my camera so hey hey i don't know can you guys see me i don't know why my camera all of a sudden has become dark I, okay all right i hope you can still see me because i am not seeing myself <laughs> very well <laughs> but um anyways yeah so i mean I, I, I came across my ex and I did say hi, you know, we talked for like a minute or so and we all, you know, we both went our own separate ways. So I don't believe that once you break up with someone, they, there has to be an enmity. But anyway, going back to what happened with um, my son's father, that's the same thing that happened, you know. He remained friends with his ex, which I was okay with it, you know. Like I, I never tried to come in between their friendship and be like, oh no, you can't talk to us, gee, what, what, what. No, because I mean they were friends before we met you know they dated before me and him dated so i wasn't going to come you know in between all of that but now where the disrespect came in was when now they they rekindled you know their sexual their sexual affair you know and he started doing all this behind my back you know and not just that but he was also seeing another girl you know and actually that is what even pissed me off more because i'm like I mean, this guy went for the bottom of the barrel, you know, like 
dem amekanyagwa na karibu kila mtu mtaani as in amerecycleiwa mpaka ametupwa nje you know that is what he went for so for me at that time i was like oh my god <laughs> in fact what happened was i don't even think i should i should give the details of this just yet but um you know they had an encounter where they there were three of them you know together and after that i was just so disgusted by everything until i was i had to in fact that is when i realized i did not i did not value myself your time ndio ilifika nikajua enyewe sijipendi if i can sit back and continue to be with such a person you know who obviously does not value himself he does not see his own worth if he can go for that and be comfortable and happy with it you know to a point of you know being rude to me and trying to talk down to me i was like what in fact that was the awakening moment for me where i realized for real i do not love myself i need to start seeing my own self worth before somebody else places a value on me that is only going to destroy my soul so anyway going back to what i was saying um this whole thing of women where you're like oh you know just you know because he has done this even me i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing you know what a man can do a woman can do no 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 when they go low you don't go to the basement you go high michelle obama said it better you know when they go low you go high you know when a man devalues himself find your own value you know go up like don't try to compete with a man in losing your dignity you know as in get away from the situation <laughs> you know if need be you know if there are no strings attached or even if there are strings attached if you guys have kids together figure out how you're going to co-parent but you should not allow yourself to lose your own dignity lose your own value you know because of someone who does not know their own value and they don't they don't even understand their own worth you know and then also another thing is you know in the bible we read, we read about the the story of Samson and Delilah you know how this tiny woman went after this very strong man and you know took away his strength and you know which pretty much that was what she was after you know she was out to bring him down so i guess she could bring herself up we are living in times also now where we have men who behave like Delilahs you know we have men who are little Delilahs pretty much you know they go after strong women with the same the same mentality you know with the intention of bringing down that woman you know taking away your strength destroying you crushing you breaking you and it's unfortunate because some of them have already studied you you know so they already know what is that one thing that can make you hate yourself you know and so sometimes you'll find them going for stuff like that you'll find a guy going for just a chick who does not completely value herself like just bottom bottomest of the barrel you know and they will do it because the main intention is for you to find out so you can become so crushed and hate yourself and either revenge of which when you revenge you will end up devaluing yourself you know either that or you just hate yourself and stop seeing any meaning or any value in in love or in life or in anything any you just lose your own self worth so for me i i mean after after watching that drama this morning <laughs> well it kind of took me back to that time you know where um all that happened you know with my with my son's father and the guy was just like you know whatever as in but they he didn't even care as in kwanza i remember that day <laughs> <laughs> what and yeah that day nearly catch eh and the way i was i used to tell myself i'm like me njeri all of this njeri i should cry because of a man one man when my contact list oh my god the amount of people i have blocked is even larger than the ones who are in the contact themselves hey and nililisha na mwanaume mmoja oh my gosh catch me never eh <laughs> miss independent talk you know but eh and yeah for real that day i felt it i was like seriously as in after all i have been through after the way i have struggled to maintain myself 
Yani, until to a point where I have been forced to block some people who are like so aggressive. You know those people who just keep keep insisting. They want to take you out on a date. You tell them no, 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 no. And they just don't understand. So such people, me by the way, I'm sorry if you're watching and you're one of them. Utakula block. Because when I tell you I'm not interested, I am not interested. Just understand that. Because the more you push, the more you'll just turn me even off completely. But anyways... Hey, that day I couldn't even believe it, you know. And <laughs> I remember there's another guy, he used to be my neighbor at that time. As in that day, by the way, I was so hot until I went to that guy's house. And I, I, I was just, I don't know, I was just in a state of shock. I was just, as in the guy was talking and I, I wasn't even listening to everything he was saying. Because to me, I was just like, God, you know, I kept repeating, the two of them, as in the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know what that's when I, I understood my worth and I realized I did not value myself you know I did not value myself because I allowed myself to be in that situation you know um, that was not someone who we even shared the same the same dreams we shared the same objective or perception in life um, it was just someone who I got with because of a situation I was trying to run away from. <laughs> that is what got that is what took me there and I found myself in that relationship. So at that time I that is when I just I I started realizing that there is more to myself and I need to start seeing my own value and stop waiting for um for let me say my close family members to see my worth. Because you know when you come from a background where the people who are closest to you don't really um, support you in anything. In fact, if anything, they work to, to, to make sure you see yourself as worthless. That can become how you perceive yourself. You know, that can become the way you look at situations or the way you look at life. And that is what had become a part of me. You know, I just didn't believe I was worth. I was worth a lot of things, you know. And um, for that reason, I ended up in the wrong relationship with the wrong person. And that had to happen for me to realize my worth. That had to happen for me to realize that I am worth so much more than, um, than the way I, had, I was seeing myself. And I needed to, to, to realize that myself and bring it out and begin working towards what I want. In fact, that is the day I really sat down. I took time to sit down and I started reviewing myself. You know, looking at, you know, <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror and I seriously asked myself, Njeri, what do you want in this life? What is the type of man? What is your ideal type of, of um, partner that you are looking for in life? And I swear, I took a pen and a piece of paper and I started writing and not that whole thing of oh, I want him to be tall I want him to be dark I want him to be handsome you know I want him to have money <laughs> I mean that's a plus but in terms of things that I value in my life what do I want to see in my partner what kind of partner do I want you know besides material material things what are the values that I'm looking for in a man and at that point, I, I, I realized the type of man I want. And which is why today I don't settle for less, you know. Not an issue of, um, I don't know, an, an issue of how you look or, you know. Because, you know, some people might also mit misinterpret that and be like, oh, you're saying you don't deal with broke men. You're saying you don't deal with men who are like this, men who are like that. No, it's about having values and principles, knowing your standards what you want in life you know don't just settle for someone out of peer pressure you know don't settle for someone out of um of fear of how others are going to perceive you you know know what you want in life and don't be afraid to go for it and refuse to settle for less and above all pray to the almighty god to guide your steps because like i've said they are bad-minded people in this society you know you can reject someone and the next thing you know, they are using another another wicked form to
to you know to to be able to get a hold of you so you know you can't you can't be ignorant of that fact that there are people who are still you know they're wicked people so be a prayerful woman you know be a prayerful woman get connected with the almighty god in prayer and know what you want and refuse to settle for less if a man does not respect you you should not compete with the man in disrespect no 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 when they go low we go high find your value know your worth and walk away from that you know a man who does not value himself he's not going to value you he doesn't know anything about value he doesn't know his own worth and even if he does know his own worth clearly he doesn't care so you should not reduce yourself you know you should not lose your own dignity because of that sour sour <laughs> anyway guys oh my god it is so hot outside and i don't know why my camera is acting up like honestly i can't even like really see myself right now but um i hope this video is clear so um yeah that's it guys for today i just decided to come on and share that with you <laughs> since i haven't come on in like a week now I've just um I've I've been a little bit busy. I'm working on some stuff and trying to get things things going and um yeah. We'll see how the summer goes now that summer is here. You know, it's well, we are not yet fully into summer, but summer is around the corner and uh wait, when is today by the way? I forgot to tell you guys the date. Today is Wednesday, May 24th and it's currently 3:32 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and now I am uh, I am headed I'm actually I'm headed somewhere else I have a, another commitment I need to rush there in fact I need to get there at least within the next oh, I have the next hour and I'm hungry too guy hey I don't know where I need I think I need to go and on my way I need to grab something to eat a sandwich or something but um yeah guys other than that woo, I believe now my hair is dry way hey I've had a long workout until I'm just, I'm feeling rejuvenated. And then in the morning I woke up, I'm like, oh, why do I have to work out? <laughs> oh, but anyway, guys. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And as usual, love yourself. Okay? You are smarter than you think. You are braver than you believe. And you are loved more than you will ever know but true love starts from here you have to love yourself first and see your own value and know your own worth in order for someone else out there who will truly love you and value you for what you're really worth or for who you're really worth you know for them to oh my god Yes, for them to to see that to see that worth in you, to see your value, you have to value yourself first. And you value yourself by loving yourself. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye bye. By the way, this is a song. Um, by who? She's called Milka Jambi and it's called Weete Mose Mani. Call yourself for a meeting and ask yourself where did you lose weight, lose your way with God. Alright? I was so hungry on my way that I just could not even wait. <laughs> I had to pull over somewhere and grab some late lunch. As you can see, this is chicken, uh, biryani rice with some salad on the side. Mm -mm -mm.